that This guy just showed up at my house, <laughs> ate my food, and told me to go fuck myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta start from the beginning. So the plan is go all the way to Myrtle Beach on the first day, which is an eight hour drive. But in the meantime, I gotta go get all my bags packed in the car and be on the way. So let's get on the road. I'm not sure if this is sus or not, but I'm gonna enjoy this banana. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna show you that. I gotta wait for the car to warm up because it's so, so cold, like everything's frozen over. <sighs> I forgot one crucial step. Always make sure to call the wifey before you go anywhere. I think they double charged me on the hotel. It was supposed to be like 35, but now it's like 170. I wasn't expecting that. Hey, the price you pay for comfort, I guess. So the first order of business getting into a hotel room was to finish up vlog four. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll just go ahead and put a link right here. And while sitting in this dirty and dark hotel room, which kind of smelled like two cigarettes having coitus. <laughs> yeah, try getting that out of your head. Anyways, I actually remember a quote that really inspired my whole journey to begin with. It goes like this. Pray that your loneliness may spur you into finding something to live for that's great enough to die for. And I believe that 100%. You know, apart from the millions of dead children probably laying on this bed, it was actually kind of comfy. And I still have a 10 hour drive ahead of me tomorrow. So I just realized that I actually have like five minutes till I gotta get out of here. And I just woke up. I gotta hurry up and move and get it showered and everything, so. In the meantime, enjoy some of this footage around the beach. So I ended up walking around to go check out some of the Myrtle Beach uh, boardwalk and I saw this uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, it's an obstacle course, and of course some really good restaurants and I wanted to try some of them out. I just went in to go get some pickle chips real quick. I haven't had some in a while. The gentleman in there told me a little bit about the history of this place and I wanted to go try and find an interview around here if I could. Since I'm gonna be here for a little bit so I might as well learn a little bit about it. I actually ended up getting an interview with this man at a bar named Duffy's, which is one of the oldest bars in the area, and this is how it went. It's, it's, this place has been here 78 years, Peaches going to 85 years, the gate off, and I don't know how many years, years, Fun Plaza, all these stuff. Yeah. That's what started Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The Bowery is home to the Supergroup Alabama. I don't know if you ever heard of the Group Alabama. They were a house band here for seven years. They signed with RCA in 1980. They had 21 number ones in a row, and then they've been on the charts for the last 40 years, 50 years. Still going. They're still touring. They had two billion streams now online. Two billion. Peaches Corner, 
Peaches Corner was a family owned and operated thing since 1937, it's 85 years. In the, in the 30s and the 40s during the war, they had different stuff going on here, you know? Like they had a camp over here, and, you know, this was a different place, it had an Air Force base. Yeah. Anyway, that's the story on this place. So after this, he began going on a bit of a tangent, so it wasn't really going anywhere. I wanted to ask some more interesting questions, but I didn't really plan anything for this, so I ended up just taking my leave and heading out. I really wish I could stay a little bit longer because this place is just so beautiful. And the sound of the crashing waves is actually kind of relaxing. This is that once in a lifetime. So, overall, it's a very interesting place, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I got to stop here and learn a little more about it. That's the sky wheel. It's a 187 foot tall structure that has only been around for just a little bit. It was built in 2011, but it's one of the main attractions people know Myrtle Beach for. Apart from that, the sprawling pubs, old fashioned arcades, and very quaint life around here is what draws people all over the world to it. I kind of chose a bad time to come here because it's really dead right now because no one comes here during the winter time, especially next to the holidays. But uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's head out. Say I'm kind of sad right now because my pickle chips. I was walking around too long and it actually went cold and stale. And also there's no sauce, it's a damn shame. The depression's setting in right now. <laughs> and so it begins. So currently I am in my car and I tried to kind of fortify it. I'm actually in the middle of a parking lot and uh, yeah, I'm in a pretty sketchy neighborhood. So well, if, I, if I don't make it, then this will be the last uh, you see me. <laughs> I made sure to lock everything up and alarm it just in case, but I guess we'll see. 